can't imagine. Take your inner 12 year old and put him away. Here we go. Uh oh. Coming in hot. Suzuki's V-Strom 650 is one of the best value for money bikes you can buy new right now. It's 645cc liquid-cooled power hose, pumps out about 65 horsepower, and that engine is bulletproof. They've been making it for years. Along with that, you get some decent tech. You get three-mode traction control, ABS, a UI that's just killer for the money, and all that's about 10 grand brand new if you can't bargain your way down. That being said, the V-Strom 650 is hiding a terrible secret. Its front-end suspension sucks. Now, I'm no springologist, but from what I can tell and what I've learned, the front end of that suspension is terribly undersprung. The sag is ridiculous. When you sit on the bike, you lose 50% of your suspension travel. Now, again, no springologist, but that's a bit much. Now, in previous year's model, they had preload adjustable caps. For some reason, in 2017, they just said, Ah, screw it. Everyone weighs 130 pounds. Which just isn't the case. I'm a 200-pound dude, and I'd say I'm probably the average weight of most people in Canada and North America. Now, at this point, I know, you're probably saying to yourself, Damn, this guy has it in for Suzuki. I don't. I absolutely love my bike. However, I wish they had taken the extra time and effort to get it right from the factory. They have the parts. They have the knowledge. The Japanese are very smart people. Luckily for the rest of us, Cogent Dynamics has taken care of the front end. Now, in order for this to make sense, I'm going to simplify and bastardize the explanation a little bit. There are basically two kinds of forks. There are damper rod type forks, and there are cartridge forks. Now, the damper rod type forks have been around forever. And while they work, and they're simple, they're not the best. And when I say they're not the best, I mean they're vastly inferior to cartridge forks. How do you fix this, you ask? Well, what you do is you buy this drop-in damper cartridge, which is essentially a little valve that sits on top of your damper rod, facilitating the use of a lower weight oil, along with straight rate springs, specifically designed for your weight, and a particular oil height, depending on whether you want a plush soft ride or whether you want a firm ride with additional bottoming resistance. Throw in a properly sized preload spacer, and all of a sudden, your ride is transformed. Now, I'm going to apologize to the people I was chatting with on the V-Strom Owners Forum, or Stormtrooper.com, I believe it is. I told him I was going to do a side-by-side -side comparative review in terms of how the suspension handled going over the same or very similar terrain. But honestly, there's not that much to look at. Um, things look pretty much the same, but the feel is remarkably different. You're much more planted, you have much more feedback, but it's not harsh. And I think the majority of that is due to the fact that the suspension is now properly preloaded 
and the sag is not taking up 50% of the suspension travel or three inches. So when you hit that log, if you look at that video again, instead of just upsetting the chassis and getting over the log that way, it's actually absorbing the impact and then redirecting it back down. And that's how you get that additional air. So how does the DDC change the feel of the suspension? Well, as I said earlier, it really firms things up, but not in a bad way. I, I take it very similar to the KTM 790 Adventure R in that the suspension is very firm, and every time you go over an obstacle, you feel it, but it's not harsh. Before, when I'd ride the stock suspension, if I hit a large hole or hit a large obstacle, it was earth-shatteringly intense, like you would feel it in your bones, where now you can keep that momentum, you can keep that speed, because although you feel it, it doesn't actually ruin your spine. In terms of installation, this wasn't very complicated. It comes with relatively thorough instructions. There are multiple videos about how to do it online, both from Cogent and from, well, myself, <laughs> shameless self-promotion, and other people who have installed it. There is the potential that you could royally screw something up, but for 95% of people, it should be a relatively easy job for you. Just take your time. Once you go through the first work, which will take you the most time, the second one will go remarkably faster, uh, especially if you're not doing a full fork seal and bushing uh, replacement as well. The Cogent Dynamic DDC kit is one of the most budget-friendly upgrades you can make to your motorcycle. Joyce and Todd are an absolute treat to deal with and will go well out of their way to help you out. Installation is an afternoon length task. The change in performance truly did subvert my expectations. And not in the same way that the latest Star Wars movies have managed to. If you've been at all on the fence about upgrading your suspension, go ahead, pick up one of the Cogent DDC kits. You will not regret it. I'm Colin from Trail Trash, and thanks for watching.